Hello all, in this second video on Jetson Nano, we will see how to log in using USB instead of HDMI and also we will see how to configure Wi-Fi network adapter as Jetson Nano has got no inbuilt Wi-Fi. We will be using this 32GB class 10 SD card with uh, a Linux for Tegra operating system image. This uh, image is based on Ubuntu 10.8.4. We will be using power adapter, uh, 5 volt 3 ampere and we are using the barrel jack. As we are using barrel jack, we have to place this jumper on these two pins so that the barrel jack power adapter is enabled. This USB we are going to use for logging in instead of HDMI. This type of uh, USB cable is used. This micro USB, one end is connected to this uh, USB port of Nano, other end is connected to USB of uh, your PC or laptop. So provide the power and uh, you will see the green light. Now we connect the USB to computer and also we will be using this uh, Nano USB network adapter for uh, Wi-Fi access and we will see how to configure this. Uh, and the next video we will see uh, how to configure WaveShare AC A265 wire wireless adapter that is connected to M2 connector below this heatsink. In this video we will be using this uh, Wi-Fi adapter on USB. When you connect the uh, USB cable to PC it will open up as a mass storage uh, device. It is named as L4T that is Linux for uh, Tegra uh, readme. Inside this uh, mass storage you can see some uh, readme text files. Uh, it, sh it shows uh, how to connect the uh, USB device, Wi-Fi and uh, how to configure for VNC. We are interested in uh, USB logging in. So open the device manager and under uh, uh, ports you can see the COM port. There is also CDC NCM which is not configured that is uh, commissioning communication device class for uh, network control model. We are interested in USB port. So note down the USB port. Open PuTTY terminal. PuTTY is SSH and Telnet serial client. Open the terminal. Now let us uh, change the windows appearance to bigger font of 14 so that we can see the commands clearly. Now go to session, select serial and then uh, under the COM port, provide the COM port allotted to the USB of uh, Nano. It is COM6 uh, in my case and uh, leave the baud rate to 9600 and click on open. In the previous video we used SSH, here we are using serial. Once you click on open, the system configuration opens. First you have to accept the uh, license in the system configuration and then select your language. Use tab and enter keys to select. Oh, next is the country selection and then the system clock is set to UTC. You select yes and then provide a full name for the new user. It is the username for your account provide a name and then provide a password you have to re-enter the password for verification if the password is weak it will ask for the confirmation you select yes use tab key and then enter and next is the app partition uh, accept the default and it, next it opens the primary network interface first is dummy zero if you want to configure later Next is CTG0 for wired. The last one is WLAN0 where we have connected network adapter. Now let us try this WLAN0. Click on OK. It will show the wireless network surrounding to you. Mine is ALS Electro. I want to collect, connect it to ALS Electro. And then it will uh, show the type of uh, password WPA2. Provide the password for the, your SSID and uh, it will attempt to connect with your access point mostly it will fail try one or two times if it fails then we'll uh, we have to go for the command line interface that we'll see in this uh, final uh, finally in this video now again uh, go back and then select uh, uh, dummy zero 
that is if you want to configure later you select the dummy zero it will show it will try for dhcp and it will show it is uh, auto configuration has failed so click on ok and then finally select do not configure the network at this time suppose you select configure network manually then it will ask for the ip address as we do not know the ip address uh, we'll go back and select the do not uh, configure for now and then click ok now you have to provide a host name you can leave it to ubuntu or uh, provide a new name and then click on ok and the nvp model you select it as max n that is the clock and uh, power to maximum now the uh, system is being installed and configured it is creating the user and finally you will get the login but it will uh, reboot automatically so the connection uh, will be lost now it has uh, uh, given a reboot automatically now you have to log in again using putty select serial and uh, the com port again as com6 and then click on open now in the login you have to provide the login name we have provided name as als electro and then provide the password now you get the prompt you can try some linux commands ls cd desktop and others if you give the command ifconfig space wlan0 it will show the uh, show that wlan is not yet configured now let us use nmcli which is uh, uh, linux command line tool to configure wireless networks and con control network manager nmcli means network manager command line nmcli space d shows the devices d is short for device wlan is disconnected and et0 is also disconnected we are not used any wire now let us give the second command nmcli radio wi-fi on uh, we'll use r which is short for radio this to enable uh, entire wi-fi access in the linux system and turns on the wireless radio next is the nmcli device wi-fi list which shows the surrounding ssids access points we use d as a short for device uh, control z to uh, stop the search now let us use the command to connect with the ssid in this command we have to use the sudo that is a super user it is very important sudo nmcli space d wi-fi connect and then the ssid name in my case it is als electro and then the password then give the password for your ssid it will connect immediately so unlike auto configuration this command line connection is 100 percent successful now wlan0 is successfully activated let us see uh, whether the internet is available or not we will be using the ping command ping 8.8.8.8 which is the address of dns server which is open all over internet and no blocking to access it is the first choice for ping test for internet access and connectivity we are getting some data so control z to stop so internet is there now let us uh, do sudo apt iphone get update before installing xrdp remote uh, desktop we have to do update it will take some time to update if you use upgrade time uh, upgrade command it will take much time so we use update next uh, install xrdp this is the open source remote desk desktop protocol sudo apt iphone get install xrdp you continue for continue give yes and it will take some time to install xrdp but xrdp has some issues with uh, uh, jetson pack so we have to install the lightweight desktop X, X, xfce4 so this uh, command you have to use sudo apt iphone get install xfce4 along with xrdp you have to install this xfce4 it will take some more time to install this uh, uh, lightweight desktop next uh, you have to set up a dot x session for xrdp use this command uh, echo space xfce4 
hyphen session and then greater than symbol tilde forward slash dot x session now the service you have to restart service xrdp restart after installing xfce you have to restart xrdp you have to provide the password finally you have to reboot use sudo reboot uh, to apply reboot so the connection will be lost you need not lo log in again now we will log in uh, by using remote desktop of windows click on remote desktop connection and you have to provide the ip address of the of your nano in my case it is 192.168.1.6 to know the ip address in the terminal of the nano previously you should have used this ifconfig command under wlan0 you will see the uh, ip address allotted to nano by your router so provide this uh, ip address and then click on connect it will connect and uh, it will show the xorg window the session uh, name is xorg again it will ask for the username and password provide the username and password and click on ok now it will uh, show the nvidia screen welcome screen and then it will ask for the network connection uh, password that is the password of your nano provide it and uh, connect now you will see the desktop of xfce4 it is the uh, lightweight desktop open the terminal and uh, let us uh, do an update to check whether internet is there sudo apt-get update so update is uh, going on so internet is there next we will use the nmcli command to see the devices nmcli space d shows the device now it shows wlan0 is connected connected to als electro wi-fi and at the right hand side top corner you will see a wi-fi symbol never click on that uh, then it, this desktop will hang the solution will be provided in future videos thank you for watching